Hey everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of taste testing of stuff I haven't tried before. I went to two different stores here in the South Metro. I went to a place called India Market and got a handful of items from there. And then I went to another um, Asian store. This one is called Asian Direct. They have some of the same offerings as the other store that I went to and then they also have some very different things. So I got um, a bunch of stuff from there too to try out on camera. So I'm going to try this stuff from the India Market first. And the first thing I want to try is a drink and it's this um, Maza lychee juice drink. So this is what the bottle looks like. I'm just gonna shake it up a little because it's just like a juice. Let me open it. And it smells like lychee. I've had lychee before but not in beverage form. That's pretty good. That's really um, refreshing actually. So I'll be drinking the rest of this um, this evening. And then the next um, four items I have are more of um, food edibles rather than drinks. So the first one here is um, creams with a K, gold pineapple. So it says a flavored sandwich biscuit. So I'm gonna cut this open and sample it. So this is what it looks like. I'm same on both sides. That's really delicious. Never had one with pineapple filling or pineapple flavored filling, so that's good. I'll definitely smash down the rest of those. The next item is a brand called Paro Hide and Seek Fab Vanilla. So it's a flavored choco chip sandwich cookie. And so that's what the packaging looks like. And the store didn't have a lot of stuff to pick out. It's still new and they're still working on getting up their inventory. So my choices of things to try from India Market were rather limited. So these are square. With that pattern on there. Well, it's pretty good. It's not overly sweet. I think in the United States we just tend to load too much sugar into our stuff probably to get people addicted to it. My final item from India Market is Haldram's Tikka Sev Hot and Spicy Chickpeas Flower Sticks. So that's what the bag looks like. And this is what the chickpea flower stick looks like. So take a bite and find out how good or not good it is. Mm-mm. No. It's got spice in it, but it tastes like it's almost stale. And there's no expiration date on here that I can see anyway. But, I don't know, maybe some people like these. Not for me. I'm not even going to finish that first stick, I will cut my losses on this one and throw it because it was, it just wasn't good. Not gag worthy, just not very tasty. So I know it's wasteful to throw out food, but I'm not going to eat it. So I'm not going to let it take up space in my kitchen. So now on to the stuff from Asia Direct. Um, first thing I'm going to be trying is um, this puff pastry in a white chocolate flavor. This is the packaging. Looked interesting. It's really lightweight. Probably because it's puff pastry, but thought I would try it. And I also saw almonds on here and the description says crispy pastry sprinkled with almonds and white chocolate providing delicately sweet taste. So these sound like they're going to be pretty good. So 
they come in a tray and then they're individually wrapped. I like when they do that. It's kind of a waste in terms of the environment, but it becomes not wasteful if they're delicious and the rest of them won't get stale. And so it's the same packaging and description on this, just in a small individual size version. So that's what it looks like when it comes out of the little cellophane thing. Mm. And that's the inside of it. So you can see the pastry layers. And this is really good. I think a lot of this stuff is like coffee's friend because they would just be so good with it. Next item from the Asian Direct Store is Meow Meow, the House of Snacks Prawn Crackers. I tried a different brand from the other Asian stores, so I thought I would try these and see if they're equally delicious because those other ones were really, really good. Woo. And the smell immediately after cutting it open is quite strong, but they look similar in shape and color to the other ones that I tried. So that's what they look like. But they taste pretty much the same, so I don't even remember what the other brand was, but the bag didn't look like this. So I'll be smashing these as well. Those are very good. And then back to something sweet. I am trying the Euro Choco Pie, chocolate pie with white cream center. So that's what the box looks like. And I'm guessing that they all come in little pouches like this. And they do. So that's what the individual package looks like. I'll cut that open. So, almost as advertised, this one's a little lopsided, but otherwise completely covered in chocolate. So let's take a bite and see what we get. So this is good. And next is something that I didn't even know existed in terms of um, somebody consuming it. And it's an aloe vera drink. So it's got some kind of something suspended in it. Probably can't pick it up on camera. But we'll give it a shake and see how it is. It smells really good. This reminds me of something very summery. I can't quite put my finger on what the flavor reminds me of. It almost reminds me of those, remember those, um, it's like a popsicle but it comes in like a plastic tube and you just like keep squeezing it up from the bottom to eat it. That's what this tastes like to me. So it's really good. I'll finish drinking this as well. And it's got aloe, so it must be pretty good. Um, the next drink I'm going to try is a peach juice drink. So it just comes in a can and... Yeah, I'll just give it a little agitation here in case there was any settling. And hopefully it's not carbonated. That's delicious. This is not overly sweet. You get that peach flavor, but it's not bam. This would be really great on like a 90 degree day. And then the last drink item is this, I'm going to butcher it, Chiao Kuo. It's a coconut milk drink, so that's what the can looks like. 
we'll just give it a little zhuzh here. Doesn't smell like much. It tastes kind of off, like maybe, I don't know if it's expired. It says it's good until 2018, but that did not taste very good, so I'm going to pass on that. And then the last and final item from the Asian store that I have in front of me is um, the shrimp snacks. So these are barbecue flavor. I tried the originals, and those were really good. So I'm going to try the barbecue now. And barbecue is where it's at. It's not um, overly done. They don't look a whole lot different from the other ones. There's just a little hint of barbecue flavor, but you still get the rest of the flavors too. And I could appreciate that, that they didn't overdo it. So now, I'm going to go get the very final item that I bought. It came from their frozen food section. So I am trying to branch out and try more than just snack foods from these stores. But I have to feel real confident in what I'm getting in terms of something that requires being heated up. When I'm not fully aware of its intended use. So I'm going to go grab that and show you the packaging. And then I'm going to heat it up and try it in front of you. So I will be right back. So what I have, it says frozen fried corn with onion and shrimp. And this is what it looks like. And the, on the back it says direction. Defrost, microwave, then better serve while warm. And I just, I have to laugh, but I also have kind of an appreciation for these literal and direct translations and they just make me chuckle, so I hope no one's offended by that. I'm going to heat this up, and I will be right back to taste it on camera. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, this corn with onions with shrimp smells questionable now that it's heated up. Um, let's see if I can show you. I put it in this big green Ikea bowl so that it would be more spread out for heating. It heated for about a minute 50. Um... After the first minute, I took it out and stirred it. Now I'm stirring it a little more because I'm procrastinating trying it. But um, here goes nothing. And no, that to me, not good. I need to actually get that taste out of my mouth. So, maybe it's that brand, maybe it's that batch, maybe I heated it up too long. It had a texture that I wasn't expecting, which was kind of tough but soft at the same time. Like the, the skin of the corn kernels was tough, but the inside, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you've had it and you like it, then good for you. Just wasn't for me. So that's everything that I got from the India market and the Asian direct market. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos such as me testing out foreign foods or um, what I do most of the time, which is makeup. But I think this is kind of fun just to try new things and um, go beyond the boundaries of just a traditional American grocery store. Um, so if you make these kinds of videos too, let me know. I'd like to see what you try and what your reactions are. If you've had a lot of hits and no misses or some things that have just been really gag worthy. So with that being said, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.